Well, hello everyone. I'm so glad you've joined me today. I know you guys have been asking me for quite a while to make a video about this topic. And look, I get it. I get it. You're seeing me and you're like, Isaac, what is it like to be not married at 21? It's just like one of those things that where you're like, Isaac, can you just pour down some of your wisdom on me? I need, just give me just a morsel of it. And I'm just like here, like God just morseling down the the manna to the Egyptians or, or whatever it was kind of funny I, I caught myself the other day I, I I was like I woke up in the morning and I looked beside me and saw nobody there and I was like oh my goodness I'm not married at 21 that's crazy and you know with like parents and grandparents and stuff they're like uh, you know just leave them you know they, they, they remember what it was like to be young and not in love because I know, look, there's, it's just interesting, you know, it's just so unusual, you know, people walk by, by me on the street and they see me, no significant other, and they're like, dang, you're young and you're not married. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not for everyone, but for me, it's just, it's so, you know, it's so natural. It's like, it's just like nothing changed. I mean, nothing actually, you know, changed, but uh, you, you like, yeah, I mean, it's been the same for the last 21 years, but you know what I'm, you know, yeah. And you know, sometimes it's like, okay, you know, you look at your older friends and you're like, oh man, yeah, like, am I missing out on that stuff? Like they're married and, and kids and all that. And you're like, am I missing out on all that stuff? And you just look back at your own life and you're like, no, you know, I like, I like being lonely. I like being sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys enough of that uh if you didn't get the joke i'm not even gonna explain it to you look up some um married at 21 videos or married 18 videos and come back to this one it might make more sense anyway all i want to let you know okay there's no big point to this video all i'm saying is that look God has different things for different people and that's okay. You don't need to be sad or feel like you're missing out if you're single at 21 or at 18 or 26 or 30 or whatever. Because look, I just think God has so much more to offer than we could even realize. And when we're actually pushed out of what we think is conventional or what should be happening, I think we can discover things that are actually really beautiful and really um, meaningful to us that we wouldn't have experienced if we were in the exact path that we wish we were in. I mean, look, we've all heard of the bridal college and ring by spring and all that stuff, all the pressure that's put on that stuff. And I think even now, I mean, where I live, we're like in lockdown mode, you know, in terms of the coronavirus. So not a lot of people are meeting each other. There's not a lot of dates going on. There's not a lot of that kind of thing. And, and people are feeling some anxiety because it's like, hey, look, this is time. This is, this is, I'm missing out an opportunity here. But look, God's timing is perfect. I know it's cliche, but it's true. And I mean, until we actually realize that and believe it, we're always going to be dissatisfied with what he has to offer us in the here and now. God has not forgotten you in this because I, I just want to lay out some great things about being single. You get to make fun of people that are in relationships. It's a lot of fun. Like you don't realize how much it, how much fun it is when you have a sibling or close friend that's in a relationship. You can make fun of them for days. It's really enjoyable. That's a blessing from God. In the comments down below, uh, let me know what are some fun things that single people can do. Don't hold back. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. And also, thank you so much for watching this video. I know this is kind of a more goofy video, but I'm just so thankful that I have the platform to be able to do this, have fun with you guys, and also engage with real, meaningful truth. If you want to get behind my mission of helping people follow Jesus daily on all my platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all the above, if you want to support me in that, head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple and become a patron for $5 a month. Um, I'm trying to get to 50 patrons uh, this year. And so if you can help me out in that, that would be amazing. Link in description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.